I pickings this one. Why is it that Among Us game? <laughs> and now it's only subscribers. Why? Why do this Twitch? Do what? Twitch is being a fucking mate. Here we go. Don't worry, yeah, it's not just you. My camera's my camera's not working either. I see that. Granted, you know, considering the game type, granted considering the game that this is, this might be better without no camera, but it probably would, yeah. If Here's I can't thing, get I, it to work, then then we'll just go. I got this game for uh, either Christmas or my birthday a while back. Um. Why on earth did my mom just text me Cobra Kai? <clears throat> okay, never mind. Camera being fuck. Um. Anyways, so you got, you got this, this game? game? Yeah, I do. I have it. Um, Want to know what the sad part about that is? It's not two player. Well, that. But it's also free if you have Game Pass. Yeah. But anyways, I got it for like Christmas or my birthday, one of those. And um. And I'd seen all the advertisements for it, so I'm like, oh, cool. This is gonna be some kind of uh. Borderlands-esque, go in and be shooty and funny game. And then every time I made the sarcastic remark when I played this game, like, I got the sarcastic option, everyone just treated mm -hmm. me like an asshole. <laughs> if it's, a uh... If play if playing this game has taught me anything, it's you have to you have to choose when you are sarcastic yeah. asshole. It's all about the big decisions. So I was really disappointed okay. when the trailer of this game misled what it was. <laughs> uh, explain. Because it was the, the way that the trailer showed it. It had like this. It had like this really. Uh, it had like this really epic rock beat going on, and then it showed mm -hmm. all the crazy shooting stuff that would happen and people slamming against the hammers and every time it would cut to a character talking they'd be making a joke and it was just high action high octane and jokey jokey everything and then when you play the game it's morbid and depressing and every time <laughs> you say something jokey you get you you lose like reputation like crazy <laughs> they really needed to work on the marketing I was in a mood for something else when I played put this game in. <sighs> uh story because fuck it. Because and bitch. <laughs> exactly. Subtitles, yes. All of the subtitles. Yep. 
bigger text for blind people. Continue. Why stay oh, earthbound when, prosper when prosperity awaits in the stars? Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to help I just you. said that. Shut up. Only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, ten short years will feel like minutes. It's colony. Colony ship Hope found drifting. Co found drifting. Twenty three twenty. scene right there, maybe it's ready for like a comedy thing. But there's no yuck yucks. <laughs> there's no chuckles or guffaws. It's all serious. Hundreds of Not all of it, of just left drift out here forever. A lot of the a lot of the upfront stuff is bottom line. Disgraceful. Welcome to the character creator. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, unfortunately, this is one of the this is one of those games where even though it does have a character creator, you never see your character's face unless you're in a menu. Yep. So that means we get to make this character ugly as sin. Fun stuff. <laughs> And torture ourselves, considering the fact that no one else will be able to see it. <laughs> attributes. I, okay, attributes. Muscular attributes. Should we be is practically a hobby of this colony? Should we be average Joe man? <laughs> Um, strength, uh, strength effects one, two melee heavy weapons block inspiration intimidate. Dexterity effects one melee handguns dodge block sneak lock pick. Long guns persuade hack medical science determination. Handguns long guns heavy weapons dodge lock pick engineering. Uh, social abilities. Well, I'm pretty sure you're going to be doing more shooting than whacking, so... Handguns and long... Handguns and long guns would probably be uh, a good thing to start out with. You'd probably be better off taking points out of strength. I hope you're ready to show point. your burden, friend. Tactical time dilation drain for movement is doubled. Ooh. But my carrying capacity. I ca oh, my carrying capacity goes down too. Ooh. Um.
critical damage, bonus to extra, headshot slash weak point damage. Oh, see, upgrading charm is a good thing because I can't... Upgrading charm means I can be the sarcastic man and no one takes it... <laughs> no one takes it seriously. Because 10% to positive... 10% to positive faction reputation, but minus 10% negative reaction. So I can be an asshole and they'll just be like, eh. Yeah, just let him be. It's just that guy. He does Let's that. Let's put all our points into charm. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> Even your frozen body has a winning smile. Okay, all we can go is very high. So everything is good, okay. everything is good, except for my strength. Yeah. <laughs> but we put it on the easy, so hopefully it won't be too much of a hassle. Good news, we can talk the pants, charm the pants off of everybody. <laughs> and be, either be a good person or an asshole, and everyone will either take, everyone will either go with it or just fuck, say fuck it, never mind. Next. Yep. Skill points. Melee is 6 even. Handguns 12. Long guns 12. Heavy weapons 6. Dodge 12. Block 6. Persuade 21. Lie 21. Intimidate 15. Sneak 12. Hack 21. Lockpick 12. Medical 12. Science 21. Engineering 12. Inspiration 15 and Determination 12. Well, we can... Uh -huh. after, after level 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills. So until we get these up to level 50, we have to put them in as a group. Yeah. But, th okay, but they so each get a po but they each get a point. It's not like you put one in a group, and you g you have to put them in separate. No, if you click, click the group button. Even it says two points up there. You click the button. Each thing gets a point, and you still have one point left. Okay, I'd say we put a point into dialogue because we're gonna really depend on the fact that this guy can charm. Mm-hmm. You could we'll get that ahead. And then, I think we should put it into range because we're going to be shooting a lot. Mm -hmm. We'll put those marksmanship scores to good use. So a char so a charming sniper man. <laughs> <laughs> He's a gunslinger. <laughs> I mean, that's perfect for the theme of this. That's perfect for the theme of this game, so. Next. Sounds right. Aptitude. No discernible aptitude. Colonist sounded like a nice entry level career for a person of your skills. Expanding humanity's reach by civilizing the cosmic frontier was ambitious enough without worrying about your day job. You had the rest of your life to decide how to be useful in Halcyon. Determination, plus one. Beverage service technician. The Halcyon colony needs good people, but it will settle for ones who can mix a memorable drink. As a human cocktail shaker, you've made concoctions that could end wars or fuel skip drives. You're still trying to balance out the flavors of a truly signature old-fashioned, though. Drink effect duration, plus three percent. <laughs> bureaucrat, no. bureaucrat rank zero. The universe operates on laws, and laws require paperwork. Halcyon is no exception. If something isn't stamped, filed, unfiled, referenced, redacted, certified, indexed, and numbered, then it might as well not exist. Birth certificates included. Block plus one. No idea why they, they made that block, but no. <laughs> No, cashier, subgrade. I refuse to be a bureaucrat. <laughs> in fact, one, in fact, in this game, we can choose to shoot bureaucrats. Oh, that's the best. 
No transaction is finished without a smile. You live for the kachunk of a bit cartridge getting inserted right side up, the redemption of loyalty points, and the promise of a good day. Come back real soon, but by now are more than empty words. They're a promise and a standard you intend on carrying to the front frontier. Persuade plus one. Sounds good. Keep it in mind. Construction electrician class wire spooler. Contrary to popular belief, cable management is an art form. Something about hiding electrical wiring behind panels to maximize airflow just makes you sigh with relief. Colonists don't need to worry about the bypasses and workarounds that keep the pay power flowing. That's your burden to shoulder. Shock damage received, minus 3%. Mm, doesn't sound worth it. Elevator operation specialist. A proper lift goes up and down. Anyone who thinks otherwise isn't fit to wear the badge. Being a specialist means something where you come from. A commitment to upward and downward mobility that doesn't have a price tag. Engineering plus one. Factory worker, really conveyor to... operator. Go ahead. I really want to focus on the whole charming aspect, considering we're going to make this a hideous nightmare monster from the depths. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well make that the most charming thing out here. The entire idea is the only reason he's charming is because people don't want to look at him anymore. They're just like, yeah, man, whatever, just take it, leave. <laughs> <laughs> Factory worker equals dodge. People keep dropping those wrenches. <laughs> Farmer dirt. In raid damage received minus three. Uh, I don't remember what in raid is, so no. That's like a super duper energy damage that goes through armor and shields and shit. Ah, uh, no. Very rare, very rare power to ha very rare power to encounter though. So. Yeah. Food additive tester. Food effect duration plus three. Janitor Sanitation Class, Corrosion Damage Received, minus three. Tossball Team Mascot, Inspiration, plus one. Medical Technician, Medical, plus one, obviously, I would hope so. Safety Inspector yeah. equals Plasma Damage Received, minus three. Science, plus one. One-handed one -handed Melee, plus one, equals Sous Chef. <laughs> well, it seems like we're going to be a cashier. Because we are yep. really banking on the ability to talk to people. At least you know the value of money. Do I? <laughs> Dude. Okay. <laughs> oh, some of the, some of these faces are already have are already making my job easy. Yeah. yeah. Particularly this one. <laughs> okay, so are we going full schnoz or no schnoz? Skin tone. Let's uh, let's make Albino this dude as yes, pale, just completely pale. Oh Jesus! Here we go. The, the Sauron eyes. There we go. <laughs> yes. You should be feared. <laughs> My whole pulse off. <laughs> Let's make those eyebrows as close together as possible. <laughs> he's able, he's a able to man forehead where it's like jutting out like a good half a foot. <laughs> he's a, he's able to dent metal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Uh, vertical brow. So vertical be better. or up or down? Uh, up seems to be the most like out there. Horizontal. Oh God. <laughs> uh, let's let's give this guy a missing chromosome. <laughs> Oh man, it doesn't look right. I guess we have to get them close together. No big old eyes. <laughs> Give me big anime eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, instead of making those close to his eyebrows, let's get him as far from his eyebrows as possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tiny jaw? Um... We need to cons we need to make his face as tiny as possible, so that way there's only one point to look at, and you have the entire face. <laughs> mouth size huge huge mouth okay it needs to be uncomfortably big this game doesn't go to this game doesn't go far enough <laughs> no it doesn't it, it's not Dark Souls level <laughs> <laughs> you can't make a goblin person. Let's give him the um, biggest nose we can. Yes. Full schnoz. <laughs> okay, nose tilt. I'm assuming that means the tip goes up or down? Okay, th okay we're getting into it now. <laughs> oh... Yes, I'm liking that. <laughs> SpongeBob! Oh. <laughs> we found it. <laughs> oh, God. Huge. oh, God. Oh, <laughs> God. It's beautiful. It's full uh. was the best idea. <laughs> yes, it was. Ugh. Okay, oh, no. oh no. Oh <laughs> no. Let's see what the opposite <laughs> side of this. Okay. Yeah. A comp full right is the best way. <sighs> cheeks. Oh boy, what's cheeks gonna be? I am not seeing any difference with cheeks, are you? Not really. Oh, no, 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 they're filling out. Okay. Hair. Um. Oh, since it's my stream. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Hair <laughs> color. Um we gotta make it something completely insane. Oh man, there's nothing completely insane. <laughs> um let's make his hair purple. If he has orange eyes, let's make his hair purple. Okay. There we go. That's good. Uh, eyebrow oh, style. There we go. Let's see how they, this can mess things up. <laughs> Ungo, bu Ungo Bunga eyebrows are pretty good right there. <laughs> there's a second. There's a we'll second. Keep it in set. mind. Oh, God. The third set of Ungo Bunga. Oh, unibrow. Oh, those are those are those are good. Oh, 
eyebrow designs, excuse me. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll do it. Let's put some I didn't even know that. A, I didn't even know that about this game. <laughs> Boxy still looks Boxy looks pretty bad. But this yeah. eyebrow design right here. Let's go with that one cuz it needs to we there needs to be a Y factor. Facial hair. Uh We ain't got much. We only got 9. Sideburns or chops? Yes, chops. Because it center it centers your sight on the nose. <laughs> yep. And we're gonna make the uh, facial hair completely either different. green or yellow. There's green. Any other ones? Uh, let's just stick with green. Nothing else seems to really be good. Features. Makeup. Oh, God. Yes, makeup. Oh, this Here is where we it, go. This is where it gets interesting. <laughs> With uh, that liver disease, <laughs> John. Oh, I can make it look. <laughs> I can make it look like he constant. He's just constantly in a state of being punched. <laughs> uh, the uh, oh, ooh, X, ooh. <laughs> I think I found it. <laughs> Just like the bloody scrapes on his face, like he's he's seen battle, and people have begged him for their lives. No, this is the character creator. Remember, this this guy came in the pod like this. <laughs> yeah. Yes, my Dirt. name is Texas Pan, where he's hastily written the name David. <laughs> Steve Vid. Done. <laughs> eh. I don't know about dirt. <laughs> uh, I like the dirt that kind of shadows his eyes. The, the first one? Makes him look all the more threatening. Scar because yes. Yep. Just give him the Joker smile. <laughs> yeah. That's the best looking one. And he's old as shit. <laughs> yep. He's seen way too much. <laughs> You're looking at the face of a broken man. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Calvin, not a killer. Excited to see it. I was so close. <laughs> oh, you couldn't fit Calvin, not a killer. Not the second. I couldn't fit with the second L. Ah, uh, okay. 
Okay, I like it. So people will look at it and be like, Calvin Nataclier? And be like, no, no, no. <laughs> Not a killer. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you threw a French spin at it. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Uh, boy, here we go. Things are gonna get crazy. This is this, this is this is our character. <laughs> this is what we've decided upon. <laughs> <laughs> this is the torture we're putting ourselves through. <laughs> Look at that! Starting off straight out of the gate with thirty-two persuade. <laughs> Oh, look! Look at the base skill unlock for it! Oh, that's perfect! Humans have a 20% chance to cower in fear for three seconds after the first time you hit them. <laughs> <laughs> perfect! <laughs> Is he gonna do it again? 15% 50 50 chance auto mechanicals will slowly attack other enemies instead of you for 10 seconds. Even the robots are like, oh, shit. <laughs> What's wrong with this one? <laughs> I must take it out on my fellow robots. <laughs> Everyone has to be careful of Natoklie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is what we're Natoklie, going with. whatever. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. This is the one that this guy chose. Out of everyone, this is the one okay. he chose. <laughs> yeah. This was his idea, really. <laughs> Blame him. <laughs> Not likely, bootlickers. Fuck. Skip jump. This is what happens when you bring him aboard. Bad luck just follows you. <sighs> Shit. Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Ah! That guy has no luck with buttons. <laughs> The 60th anniversary of the Hope's disappearance. Brought to you by Zero G Brew. <laughs> Feelings. Brought to you by Brands. <laughs> that sounds so like something right out of Fahrenheit 451. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah. God, I hope so. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes. A smuggler. 
His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist, dashing gunslinger, one of a kind. I don't remember having this on when I got in, but all right. <laughs> I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. Please tell me it's not in my ass. <laughs> All colonists are counting on you. It's the only safe place. <laughs> it's nature's pocket. Someone did a plot of re-entry course. I know how to do this for some reason. <laughs> ah, you Ugh. Good. Ugh, you have no idea oh, how much I farted in there. By. What in Law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Oops. <laughs> Wasn't your fault. That was entirely on Phineas. Aha! Uh -huh. I have a dodge, but I can't use it yet. Jump over obstacles. Using the A ah button. Using the ah button. Use B to go underneath obstacles and to sneak. Space creatures. Well, this guy's dead. <laughs> it's because he messed with the things. I think every, I think every one of their cousin by this point knows how an awareness meter works. What did you stick me with, old man? Oh, my ankles. Drugs. Thank God. Oh, that's really simple. <laughs> I simply stuck you. I simply stuck you, as you put it, with an incredibly powerful aphrodisiac. <laughs> every every everyone Your and everything and pus keeping you alive. Hello, random try sir. The best now. now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. It's what? Spacer's who? Oh. oh. We're all part of the Space ah. Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely <clears throat> scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. 
You're hiding in a cave and you blocked off the exit. You're as good as dead. Spacer's choice policy clearly stipulates that dead and as good as dead are two yeah. completely different properties of matter. Unless I'm dead, I'm contractually obligated to attend to my post. I will report that illegally grounded spacecraft if it is the last thing I do. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? You live a sad existence, Pelham. You're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. <laughs> yeah, you sound a lot like my lieutenant. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Uh, you hit your where the hell am something? I? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. You disappoint Cash me, young man. A little ways down. Uh, <laughs> disappoint me greatly. Be sure to stop by a provisioners for a can of our famous salt tuna. The hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with anti Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. I'm out of here. <laughs> So now we have gun. Can you hear me? What in the You can have up to four weapons equipped at a time by navigating to the weapon, then selecting the weapon slot at the top of the screen. On this page you can also inspect your weapon, compare them, flag them as junk, or break them down for parts. Players with the engineering skill can repair weapons on the screen as well. Take care of your TNA weapons and they'll take care of your enemies. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> the horror. <laughs> Armor. My my health drugs. You might need to get a different a, a different radio, Phineas. Drugs. Hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. Hey, you were frozen in a canister for seventy years, so now you can slow down fucking time. <laughs> Funny thing is, when I played this, I never used that ability. <laughs> I usually use it at the start of every battle to get a good, get some good headshots in. Yeah. But never I again, went with the usually. strength build. So, you know, pretty much useless. You have a new item. Check your shit. You lying game. <laughs> you lying game. <laughs> Hacking and picking locks. Mag picks are used to break open locks and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it'll take. And I don't even have enough, so why did that prompt so that prompt shouldn't even show up? You bitch. Fish sticks. Spacer's fish sticks. They're probably awful. <laughs> They're probably not fish. Probably. <laughs> Boom. Bitch.
Hey. Stop. There you go. You're dead now. Now you have better armor. Quite possibly. Oh, this is the perfect armor for him, too. <laughs> yep. Because it's all patched and crazy looking. I thought I ditched this back on Earth. <laughs> How did they have my old outfit? <laughs> Wait a second, did I start a cult? <laughs> Again? <laughs> Another one? Damn it. This is exactly what I was trying to get away from. <laughs> I'll get the fucker out of head bobbing. Fuck that shit. Show player helmet. Fuck that, because I want to... If I'm torturing yeah, myself, I want to see the damn thing. <laughs> hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed! Lady, do you know who you're talking to? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. I started a cult. Twice. <laughs> and worse, landing violators. The second time is an assumption. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. I've already dealt with a few of these marauders, not impressed. So I heard. I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. It's just a landing violation. Let it go. Which one's the most sarcastic? <laughs> Is it the last one? I'm probably the last one, yeah. Not impressed. Oh, my limb. I, I mean, yeah, of course. Marauders. Bunch of addle brain derelicts. Wait a second, Run you mean those guys are myself? threats? I just, you know. <laughs> need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Do Spacious Choice Guards back down from a challenge? I bet you can get these marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. Guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction survey. <laughs> Don't worry, sit tight, I'll handle it. Coward, I'll do it myself. <laughs> I like the I like the I like the fact that these people take their job so seriously that customer satisfaction survey is what really is going to hit, hit them in the gut. Yeah, customer satisfaction survey is in the intimidate section. <laughs> yep. Seriously? But those marauders will... Ugh. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross <laughs> those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's going to be fucking laminated. Here we go. Uh, yeah, that's right. Laminate it. Now you're getting it. They have no idea what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I just watched that guy fall right over. It was amazing. Yep. Thank you. Can I take your shit since you don't need it anymore? You have heavy ammo but a light pistol? Fuck you. That guy was just an idiot. <laughs> he had it coming. He was asking for it. This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. Well, now if you'll excuse me, lady, I'm just going to, uh... Please Go the fuck in. That this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Well, I mean that makes sense. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. I'd rather not. 
I am Ada, the autonomous <laughs> digital astrogator of this vessel. The authorities are outside. But I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. What are you going to do, self-destruct? Is something supposed to be happening? You realize we're on the ground, right? <laughs> I like the correction better. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. <laughs> I need to get the ship in the air. I am accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Your captain's a red smear under my escape pod. I understand. I will require some time to process. They woke the wrong guy up. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Should I pick up immediately or should I keep going out of frustration? <laughs> I think um I think this uh this Calvin Nauticlier is uh is not satisfied unless it's real frustration. Okay, it's, so this that is just second an AI. option. Programmed with. <laughs> this, this is, is a, a program to this simulate man. frustration. Yeah. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne, well, or you can't Captain fly. Hawthorne, I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator uh. has been irreparably damaged. And must be replaced. I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in a garage. Completely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Yeah, the name of the ship is the it. Unreliable? Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. That's literally the second option, too. <laughs> I like it. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. I have a question for you. How many cap how many Captain Alex Hawthorns have you had? <laughs> Are am you I an the second lady? <laughs> am I am I the am I, because it's it's a it's a big question because if I'm the second, okay, but if I'm like the fifty third, there's a problem. <laughs> I'm starting to think there might be a trend to your name. <laughs> or the name of the ship anyway. Work diligently, improve yourself, and you too can achieve middle management. Okay, so the clunk, the clunk. <clears throat> we're an, we're an experienced leader. <laughs> 
Well, <laughs> we did start a cult. You have unlocked a dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct oh, cool. type of target, they are auto they are automatically debilitated. Interesting. Perks. You get a new perk point to sp you get a new perk point to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as by accepting a flaw. Acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available to you. Auntie wants you to be your best to help her be the very best. Thanks, Mom from Futurama. <laughs> she was downright evil. Uh, 50% base health. Tactical time dilation meter max. Damage when alone in a party. Walk speed, sprint speed. Weapon armor durability loss. Companion crit chance. Science weapon magazine size. Damage per flaw. Base armor rating. 100% additional ammo stock on vendors. 100% additional consumable and general stock. Carrying capacity. Recharge for tactical time dilation. Fast travel when encumbered. XP from companion kills, vendor prices. Uh, gaining experience from uh, companion kills is going to be the very, very best thing you can get. Oh, might as well get it first. Time to find a power regulator. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. I suppose weapon parts I and a shotgun. To you now, Captain. Shit, yes. No, really. Thank you. Oh, but it's broken. Oh, yay. Well, we can fix it. We can dismantle all those pistols we got and make a better shotgun. I don't know if I actually picked up those pistols. Ah, uh, just three more parts and I could do it just and I could do it now. If they're still there, hopefully I'll get, I'll pick up those pistols and Want just to be dismantle a brand them. New you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself right before he died. Oh, so you can oh. just if you get tired of how you look and how you are, you can just go over there and respec. Oh, cool. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Well, shit. I don't know why that reminded me of it, but there was this one show that I watched when I was a kid, Dude, and then we had a we had one episode of it on like on DVD, I think. DVD or VHS. Uh. And the and the whole okay. like story of it was that. Um, there were these hidden warriors that, like, the tried to help people Charles make good decisions in life. Alone, and this mm -hmm. one scientist created a serum that literally changed the skin you had. <laughs> okay. So, like, if you, if you had, like, really bad, like, acne or whatever, you put it on and it was really painful at first, but then you were hot.
and the entire a episode lot. the villains were like trying to say you shouldn't be happy with your body you should never be happy with your body and the and the heroes are like no if you're ugly just accept that you're ugly and that was the fight that they had it had a really good <laughs> fight scene but like it was so stupid the light assault rifle. Alright. I'll go find your power Say, regulator, I guess. Your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your We're ship. gonna be here a while. I hope you yours. know that. Well, mister, you owe Spacer's <laughs> choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Do you take down payments Sorry, and wanton to, uh, violence? Some guy named Hawthorne. <laughs> Do you take down payments and wanton violence? <laughs> <laughs> You've got it all wrong. I'm a starship safety inspector. Oh, I'm so sorry. We, our entire strength is the fact it. that we talk to people, so let's talk to people. Like to speak with my manager. I yeah. report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Take care, bitch. <laughs> Dead thing. Ah, oh, the bodies are gone. Fuck. No. Oh, that's it for him. Wait a minute. I don't Private, worry. You'll, oh. you'll come across more. Private Kimball. I thought his name was Private Kickball for a second. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> That's not the sport. It's Tossball. The you ball of toss. Anything. Do I have anything that takes heavy ammo? Uh, not yet. Uh, the assault rifle. Break that thing down. And you got three weapon parts. Now you got a shotgun. Anybody else want to go? Anybody else want to tussle with the renegade Joker? <laughs> Boom! Boom! <laughs> I think I toyed with that one a bit too long. <laughs> Probably. I like to think that we're the two voices inside this guy's head. <laughs> have conversations. We're the we're the two we're the two Deadpool voices. <laughs> yeah. It would make sense for his character. I don't know what I expected out of that. <laughs> I expected spores, spores to explode into your face and then you'd go on a drug trip for about 30 minutes. Right in the mouth. Oh! I blew up the top of this one's head. 
Beautiful. Meet weapon parts. Shovel. So glad I discovered that. What are we doing here? I picked up a shovel. <laughs> yeah. Ammo. Hello, Big Graves. Oh, hey. Where'd you come from? Running around in a barrage the of tire. And you're liable to give some people the wrong idea. Don't be so sure. I could be a marauder. <laughs> <laughs> You talk too pretty for a marauder. Most of them just grunt and yell. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. <laughs> Is that why you've got a pair of armed guards? Do they pay you to chat with strangers? I, employed by the retirement department of Spacer's Choice. I think we'd be getting more uh, experience if we lied. In the cemetery. Name Silas. Probably. Junior but in humor fuck. for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Junior in humor. Fancy title for a grave digger. Hey, I earned that fancy title. Started off a lowly junior gravesite builder, then junior interment engineer. No, oh, and I was a junior burial assistant for a time. You seem to be. Pr you seem pretty old to be a junior anything. I've been working. I'm bound to earn a promotion. Must be about 50, 60 burials away from associate in humor. Who do I talk to about a power regulator? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Cult leader. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not an option. I do what I want. A knack for being discreet. I do what I want. <laughs> There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Sir, have you seen my nose? It is money. very hard to money keep it clean. Paperwork. Paperwork Wait, that's a redundant sense. statement. Of course he's seen your nose. I'm a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. True. I forgot about that. You're making people pay for their own graves. Company I need to meet the man who did this. I must learn from him. The whole town ten feet under. Free of charge. <laughs> that man is well beyond selling ice to the Eskimos. <laughs> Can't you collect these fees yourself? Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know. All right, I'll collect your fees for you. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. <laughs> Why is Abernathy a special he case? Just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Where can I find Conrad's these people? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. I'll, I will Abernathy. yell at them such a loud. I've seen him in a few days. <laughs> His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. Yeah? They won't be able to help themselves but shit and fear. <laughs> and then I'll tell them, you smell that shit? That shit didn't need to be there. 
All you had to do was pay a small, small fine of however much monies, and you were in the clear. But now you smell of shit, and that shit yep. smells of shame. <laughs> this town must be in pretty bad shape if it's keeping you employed. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. You're not worried about falling Every sick? Now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. <laughs> How long have you been a junior in humor? Gravedigger, whatever. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one. Uh, all my life, work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise, only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. You lose a lot of people Former to marauders? Oh yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. What are they after, loot? Oh no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, the company's gonna duck my pay. Oof. Good luck with that, buddy. <laughs> Good luck with that. Bye! <laughs> I've done a great many things with bodies myself, so I empathize with you, but <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Time to steal all his shit. Oh, most of his shit. Burial invoice. Name Theodore Granger. Cause of expiration industrial accident. Successfully interred in gravesite 13F. Paid and accounted for. Teddy's corpse was missing a hand. Deducted five bits from gravesite fee because I'm a kindly fellow. <laughs> huh. I mean, yeah, it doesn't Very. take up as much space because he doesn't have a hand. Makes sense. Very. Very kind of you? Steel shovel? Oh, as, as, in a, as in steal the shovel. It was not a shovel made of steel. Yeah, it was spelled that way. <laughs> it, it, it had a different thing happen in my brain when I saw that first. I just saw the E and I was like, oh, shovel made of steel, cool. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to end your years in luxury and comfort? Do you dream of walking beneath the vaulted arches of Byzantium? Early retirement is finally here. Early retirement is your ticket to Byzantium. Early retirement is Chairman Rockwell and Minister Clark's gift to you. Selection for the early retirement process is by lottery. Winners enjoy an all-expense-paid trip to the new life of Byzantium. The Jewel of Halcyon. Uh huh. Yeah, I believe that. With how miserable everything else is, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> that sounds like a great deal. Thank you. I take. Thank you. Bit cartridge, because fuck you. Because having money is a good thing. Bread noodles? Mm. With one E? <laughs> With one E? <laughs> Ew. 
Ugh. Not sure about that one. It's bread and it's noodles. It sounds like everything I'd ever want. <laughs> Two hour energy brew. When you need to go for just a couple more hours. Each <laughs> trip teas. Each tea bag contains the finest natural and artificial flavors for the perfect cup of tea. Bunch of nanners. Fresh means good. Terrified Sprotwurst. Terrified Sprotwurst uses the finest herbs and spices. Try it with double mustard. I'm good, actually. Heavy ammo. I've Sweet. stolen all that was available to steal. Now we head inside. This game definitely de definitely has its style down. Yeah. Mm. Looks like a comic out of the 50s or 60s. I think that's what they were going for. We do for. these loading screens. Because this is made by this is made by the same people who did uh, New Vegas. Uh. Not but not Bethesda. I mean, like the actual like. They start asking you for some medicine. Designers. Come tell me. I'll set them straight. I like your helmet. I think. Yeah, we. Ha I think we have one. Now I can sell those. The Spacer's Choice Cantina. Life in the Veil got you down. Can't drink your misery away. You read the latest report? I don't know you. Come and spend your hard-earned shekels to get drunk. <laughs> I don't know you. Excuse me. <laughs> Nice to meet you too. Everyone's so friendly and welcoming in this town. <laughs> <laughs> Sarcasm. It definitely befits this schnoz. We don't welcome trouble. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. Could have fooled me. All I see were a bunch of drunken slobs and one ugly bartender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. High five. <laughs> hey, come on now. That was uncalled for. Some of us are still sober. If you're going to have a drink, I'd like to ask that you do it within the premises. Oh jeez! So now I just feel so sorry nice. for. <laughs> Was this about deserters? Traitors, a lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. The town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? Do you now? And what makes you think Mr. Thompson wants to talk to you? He's a busy man. If you want to talk to Mr. Thompson, try ignoring your duties. He'll summon you up to that great big tower atop the cannery, and you'll get yourself a proper dressing down. Gross. You say that like it's a good thing. It is a good thing. If you're not pulling your weight, you don't deserve to live here. Simple as that. Go ahead. Alrighty then. What if I told you I just got shot into space by a crazy scientist? 
Ugh, is this the start of a joke? If you want me to laugh at your jokes, it's a three drink minimum. <laughs> I'm not joking. My escape pod landed in the hills on top of a guy. Look, that was funny, it's but it's not a joke. If you took a blow to your skull, <laughs> you really should settle down with some zero G. Anyhow, whatever happens outside the walls. The perfect not cure for a concussion. Booze. And wander out there, and I cannot tell you which I revile more. My world is these four walls, that door, and a row of mugs that need cleaning. It almost sounds like if you're afraid to go outside. Let me make something clear. Spacer's choice has been real good to me. The town's been real good to me. I start gallivanting around outside the walls, poking around in places I shouldn't be, learning things I've got no right to know. People will talk. <laughs> Won't ever catch me asking about the world outside. Else the town's gonna say Amelia's gone soft. That Amelia's pondering desertion. I don't want that. I think it's a mistake living your life on everyone else's terms. You go with that thinking again. Didn't anyone ever tell you it's dangerous? I've said Look at me! Thing. I'm a they murderer. Their problems away. They might have created the marauders. <laughs> they face their problems. They'd go see our vicar. I don't see how that's any of your business. I'm not trying to judge you. I'm just curious. You're the first to ask after me in some time. I'll give you that. But I don't have a story to share. My family's worked Spacer's Choice for two generations, and I've lived in Edgewater just about all my life. Wanted to work in the sciences once upon a time. Would you believe it? That was a wild fancy. Glad I disabused myself. What happened, you ask? What always happens when you're dreaming? I woke up. I just didn't have the brains for it. Asked too many questions. Wasn't suited to the work. So I did the right thing and worked the life I was always meant to live. Now that I'm behind a bar, I can ask all the questions I want. Important ones. Like when are you gonna pay your tab? And would you like another round of cold, refreshing zero G? Asking questions is the foundation of science. The best scientist has too Don't many. Talk to me that way, please. Spent many years disabusing myself of that notion. Don't need you putting it back in my head. Hmm. Lab work ain't for me. Never was. Never will be. Spacer's choice put me where I belong, and for that I am grateful. What's wrong with that? Good on scrubbing dishes, We've I gone down a long don't path of talking to you, and Glasses you just cannot stop <laughs> kicking yourself in the Unless dick. In Byzantium. I hear everything's automated there. If you're not going to accept I'm anything not. that we say, then just... I mean, he says. <laughs> I say we collectively, because, you know, most of us, but, like... I'm, I'm going on a tangent. Never mind. <laughs> they did. They gave me a life. Gave me a purpose. This is where I belong. Not so fast. Thanks I for the story. My life, your turn to tell me about yours. So, what's your story? You wouldn't believe <laughs> oh, me if I told you. <laughs> that right. Prove it. Last survivor of the colony ship Hope. Everyone else is frozen. A crazy. <laughs> Crazy scientist stranded me on this planet with no way out other than a broken down ship. I am an alien spirit of pure ether inhabiting a human body to learn about your kind. That one, yes. Oof. <laughs> you knocked your head in the cannery, didn't you? Injuries come out of everyone's pay. Says so right there in your contract. So, you want to tell me what your story really is? Sounds as if you've been keeping questionable company. Or spinning a tail? You're right. I don't believe you. I'd advise you to keep that story unsaid. Don't want people thinking you're a loon. 
Coming what if right I up. want people to think that? Your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill and is used to negotiate prices when buying and selling. Well, it's a good thing we made dialogue such a massive thing. <laughs> Dehydrated water tablets. Water what? without the hydrogen or water without the hydrogen or oxygen. A sugary drink. Just add air. Now available in carbonated. Ugh. This future upsets me. <laughs> Plain and pure water. Ingredients. Ninety nine percent water. It's crisp, it's delicious, it's nutritious, it's water. Now with 11% more natural water flavoring. <laughs> oh. When I find that it's son so of a bitch who put me in a frozen tub. Wait, he's dead. It's... Shit! It's so... It's so bad, it's funny. Well, let's go shake down some people. Yep. Hello, Conrad Sadik. Sad dick. Merciful law. Is that a marauder's outfit? I don't want you wandering into my shop wearing something you've lifted off a corpse. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical That's pretty much all the I ever first got. person. Capitulates moral high. <laughs> Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. I can show you my hands. Do your haircuts usually come with free lectures? <laughs> I, I say go for as much experience as we can. Yeah. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough uh. parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Prepare my remains for what? Burial, in the unfortunate event of a fatality. It's what a barber does. We make you presentable. Speaking of burials, pay up, motherfucker. Ah, yeah. site fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. I don't understand a word you just said. <laughs> you mean you're broke? As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I don't understand a word you just I said, and I am upset it. by it. So I I'm going to shove my fist <laughs> up your nose. <laughs> settlement. When I expire, I Good luck cleaning that to out. My body into a ditch. <laughs> I don't care. Pay up. You have a very loose definition of the word prosperity. That's some quality drama, Conrad. You should audition. <laughs> uh, the third one. Third one is the best option. Thank you, no. I despise the cereals. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Hang on, medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Just give Silas an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. 
My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Much obliged. Hey, Silas, I'm just gonna... Yeah. <laughs> Letter from Phyllis. Conrad. Res receptionist... <laughs> receptionist shot himself. This is bad. Company's gonna have to call it for what it is. Destruction of spacious choice property. Eugene was an asset, and somebody had to pay his body price. This is going to ruin us, so I was thinking that we pawn off his teeth. Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down to his family or something. You're processing his body, right? Just dig around and pry him out. We sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet, use the bits, pay his body price, and nobody's the wiser. What do you think? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal next time you see me. Waggle your eyebrows. Oh, Conrad! <laughs> I had to read your own shit what for, can you. I do for you. <clears throat> I know about Eugene. Why not use his teeth as collateral for your grave site fees? You sound like you've had some training. I know a thing or two about medicine. Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Uh, let's go for Persuade. Okay. I think this is a just a second dialogue option. Only if we use the term Doctor loosely. <laughs> I am a Spacer's Choice Certified Surgeon. And if you must know, I can stitch a severed thumb with a 58% chance of avoiding gangrene. Why not use his teeth as collateral for your gravesite fees? You know about Eugene? How? You saw me enter the room, dude. I'm a mind reader. <laughs> you were probably poking around my things. I really shouldn't leave my letters sitting out in the open. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. I'm sure he won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are sure. solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? I don't care. I'm just here to collect here your you dues. Are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Goodbye, sack shit. Alright, see you later, man. Good luck with the barber stuff. Good luck with the barbering thing. Whatever the shit it is. Yes, Mr. Thompson. Bye -bye, Mr. Thompson. Healthier. Now time for Into Here. Oh, sweet merciful law, the marauders in my domicile. <laughs> That's right, bitch. <laughs> Hand over all your bits. <laughs> Should I? <laughs> yeah, go for it. We're not we're not above killing some fools. Please don't kill me. I still gotta pay my gravesite fees. Wait a second. <laughs> I heard marauders don't talk much. You can talk just- That's what we're doing. Mr. Thompson send you to put the fear in me? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy.
You want to tell me what's got you so nervous? You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? Yes. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. You told me everything. How long did you think you could keep a secret like that? Like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. I'm fed up with this world. Soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. I'm sure it's all very tragic and heartbreaking. Pay me so I can get out of here. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could <laughs> We're going to be the biggest asshole. For me, <laughs> I could really use the help. You can't afford me. I'll scratch something together for you. Sell off some of my sundry at Moreau's if I have to. Just hear me out. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. I'll do what I can. Not so fast. I've got some questions. I assume there are guards. Will not find any guards within sight of that old I assume there are potential corpses. <laughs> Future corpses. What could you tell me about these marauders? I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. <laughs> Stepping softly. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly. Uh, sir, I'm just going to go down the. the acceptable margin. I'm just going to go down my Company list of weapons, policy. just from start to finish. Uh, a pistol, uh, a blade, uh, a shotgun, and a light assault rifle. Oh yeah, I'm going to step very softly. <laughs> Come on now, Abernathy. You don't look a day over 90. I tell myself the same thing every morning. <laughs> You've seen those young workers at the cannery? What with their unbent spines and pristine knee joints? I can't compete with that. <laughs> so I've heard enough. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Anything I should know about the community center? Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking the mud all over the archives. Yeah, because that's the real trouble. You're taking an awful risk trusting me, mostly because I'm more liable to shoot you in the face. That, but I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. I'll leave you be, I guess. You have nothing in your fridge. No wonder you're almost dead. You're not eating. working for Abernathy. You got a really Ooh. lovely shitter, man. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. I'm going there, but not for the medicine. I just want to kill. My trigger finger is... <laughs> Supremely itchy. I wonder if I can get that checked out. 
He's got symptoms of something. You're saying it's psychosomatic. All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. What do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. How about you let me worry about that? That's not shady all right. at all. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Abernathy's paying me for my trouble. Can you match I his offer? I better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. That's all I can ask of you. Cool. Leave the man to die, and we still get to kill the guys. Cool. Extra corpses. Hooray! <laughs> Extra corpses for that dude to bury. He'll make it to, uh... Not Junior. Much sooner, because of us. Oh, damn. Bounty. By the way, I need to. I've been meaning to ask you that. Um, are we a we or are we a I? Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. I've just been going. I've just been going with the with the flow. I have no idea, dude. <laughs> As a spacer's choice constable. All right, we're in a conversation. Holy shit. Um. Criminals. <laughs> know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. <laughs> the acceptable margins. If this is a setup to a joke, you should know I've never found anything amusing in my life. I don't serve Edgewater. <laughs> Edgewater in the entire region. At least you're honest, I guess. Choice. So you're basically a bureaucrat. Larry won't get you anywhere with me. The bureaucracy is a noble profession. They're all going to die. Serve in it. <laughs> she said it was a noble profession. Oh, yep, death. Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which occupies a seat on the Halcyon Holdings Corporation. Also known I'm as currently Lord. eating chicken and beans. I it bothers me that you don't already know. How do I get chicken and cool. beans in this head? <laughs> I had uh, two tacos. You lucky bastard. <laughs> and some chips and salsa. Something to report? One more thing. Goodbye. Friend of mine died a couple weeks back. Still ain't. Ludwig and Felice. Never dead. Hey, you hear about Wilson? Phyllis Navidad. Oh, Phyllis. Where is you, bitch? The first. Espionage. Ha! <laughs> Corporate espionage, bitches. Now you might hear my cat. Is that a cat? That's probably it. You the new She's running up and down the halls, Make it meowing for attention. Busy. Don't know how I got her in the head either. 
Once again, conversation. Holy shit. Gravesite fees. I'm here to collect. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. These papers aren't signed in your name. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. You have to pay for your neighbor's gravesite fees? If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. So the guy shot himself? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. Must be tough losing family. Eugene Don't let family. corporate hear, you, hear that you said that. <laughs> I thought you said you were his closest living relative. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. I'm the one who found him, you see, so I pay the fines. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. That was a stretch. You stretched for that. <laughs> Shame on you. you <laughs> what are they going to do, arrest his corpse? Vandalism, huh? Did you have to clean bits of him off the wall or something? First of all, that's a horrible thing to say. Secondly, yes, we did. I would be very interested in watching <laughs> someone arrest a corpse. The entire town pays for it. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. Would have. You didn't. This Eugene guy sounds like he was more trouble than he's worth. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees. Which means he was approved for burial. Which means his papers went through. Which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace. And the rest of us can get Juliet, on. Juliet, calm down. Alright. Give me one quick second, everyone. I need to take a piss break. Stare at our ugly friend while I'm gone. Yes. They say if you stare into the abyss long enough, the abyss stares back into you. Sometimes I wonder about the validity of that statement. Because... As I bring up very often, I tend to teeter on the edge of sanity. And every now and again, I will look down and check out the other side of the edge. I look, and it seems inviting. But I know that's a lie. It's not inviting. And so you stare. You look into the abyss. And people say the abyss looks back into you. But the abyss I look into, it's empty. There's nothing there. Nothing living, nothing dead, nothing at all. It's almost like a null void of emptiness I wonder is this the abyss they talk about am I looking into the wrong one because I'd like to meet what stares back at me into the abyss and learn its secret handshake I'm back oh cool was this about the abyss's handshake? Uh, it, it was nothing important. 
Okay. I was I was going off on a tangent about like that saying of when people stare into the abyss, the, the abyss stares back. But mm -hmm. the abyss I stare into, it's empty. There's nothing there. So am I looking into the wrong one? Because I want to find what's staring back at me through the abyss and learn its secret handshake. <laughs> that secret handshake is probably crazy complicated. Oh, probably, but I mean, it'd be worth learning. I will take that riot control armor, thank you. Oh, that sounds great. If we wear it, will we get in trouble? I don't see why we would. Okay, cool. I kind of wish that this was one of those RPGs where you can make your outfit look like one thing but keep the stats of another. Yeah, skins and all that, that'd be great. I can't take all that in here, because people will see that. And I don't want to have to get in trouble from shooting another person. At least in this building, anyway. It's just... We don't have enough ammo. Yeah, that's the main problem. Damn, okay. <laughs> I'm just waiting for when we uh, pick up our first um, companion. So I remember she was actually pretty fun. Yeah, I think she's around here somewhere. Yeah, she was at the cannery. I think you meet her upstairs. When you meet the, the, the cannery tycoon or whatever. Yeah. Only you can shut the fuck up. Da 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 da. Hello. The random cannery worker smoking inside. Is it the designated smoking area? I mean, it's the. It's the break room, so yeah, technically. A long time ago, they used to be one of the same. Yeah. Well, I think the. Uh, I think the I think the Walmart that I used to work at a long time ago, uh, their break room had a separate section, that was walled off by you know like a, a wall with some windows in it. And I asked the question, like, what is that? Why does no one use that? Like, oh, that used to be the smoking area. And, like... When I was working at a Waffle House, do you know how many people got upset by the fact that they made a smoking area? <laughs> uh, a lot of them, I'm assuming. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I, had, I heard some... You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's... Technical. Why can't I smoke Don't while I make that. everybody's food? Try using small words for me. You answered your own Can question, madam. Open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. The thing is, I never heard any complaints from the actual workers. It was the customers. Oh. <laughs> Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. You must be the town boss. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I don't wear for Spacer's Choice. I don't wear 
Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. <laughs> Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. My ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Let me guess, you want me to do something for you before you'll help me. My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Reed, I hope you're not I hope you're not offended when I say that I look at your face and the first word that my brain goes to is snake. Oh, you got that? I get cunt. <laughs> when you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. What a surprise, I never would have guessed. I'm not trying to pull one over on you, friend. <laughs> you were bound to run into them sooner or later. I bet these people do not take well to sarcasm. <laughs> they are not used to it. <laughs> They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. If you, if you want me to solve your deserter problem, I charge by the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Screw that oh, green no, piece shit. I don't shit. want you killing anyone, <laughs> least of all them. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. How will I recognize Adelaide? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. These workers must have left town for a reason. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community. The Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. I can't make any promises. Of course, I understand completely. Here, Funny thing is, I accidentally, plan, like, so made my way into so finding an almost you. ideal solution for this whole town feud. For the veil? I, I played this. Around. I mean, in case you want a guide. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. Sure, I could use the company. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators. I need someone to, I need and someone to bounce so ideas off of, like I'm grenades. <laughs> well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Companions! Huzzah! Now we get more experience! Yay! We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Alright. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. We're on an elevator. 
We are out of his office. Hey, mister, can we talk? Unless you mean out of the walls of this talk? town. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... No, no, no. Talking's that's fun. That's the only side of the tale. I built my, I built my character specifically for this reason. <laughs> If I wanted to deal with nuance, I wouldn't be this heavily armed. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's have a talk conversation with her before we say something that. That was oh, I know, I know. That's a great line. Uh, figures, read, <laughs> read, read didn't exactly strike me as the most honest soul. He ain't alive. That is such a great line. He every word he says. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. I can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. This town's got issues. Ooh, yeah. How well did you know the deserters? You worked with them. You were friends or what? Did you know this Adelaide Reed mentioned? I'm sure the deserters are very fine people. So what? <laughs> Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big spacer's choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. What do we need to talk to the vicar about? Flipping a switch in your power mill? About if what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. Their neighbors. Kim. And maybe he can think of something else to try. Something we ain't. He used to go walking outside town. Maybe he found something that'll help. It's just an idea. That's all. Where would I find him? The mission's on the east side of town. The hey, ideas are great. On account of it being without ideas, I wouldn't have killed so many people in so many different ways. Right. Thanks, Mister. Have I you ever killed that somebody that by breaking their tonight. fingers? It's best to think. On the <laughs> I've done it wrong twice. That's what my dad. It's really hard, but once you nail it, oh, it's so satisfying. <laughs> Onward to talk to religion man. The worst hero. Ah, <laughs> uh, but first. More graves. Yeah. Come on, we're gonna go talk to, um... Talk to a guy. Ah, uh, yes, that's what it is. You know, I was told when I got home that the food that they made was some kind of roast chicken with mashed potatoes and peas. <laughs> but the uh, mashed potatoes were already eaten. <laughs> I got the roast chicken and it was fine. But the peas were black eyed peas. I was expecting the little green ones. Mm. I'm not opposed to black eyed peas, it's just I definitely prefer regular peas to black eyed peas. It was mostly due to the fact that black eyed peas are more like beans. Yeah. Although the, uh... You shouldn't be stepping on graves like that. I mean, why do I care? They don't care. 
You shouldn't be stepping on graves like that. Okay, pull them up and we'll ask him if he finds it offensive or not. <laughs> When's the last time you ever heard a dead person complaining about a dead person joke? <laughs> Never. So, I mean, what's the point? What's the problem? <laughs> Got a problem here? I'm hearing noises, but I don't know where they're coming from. Might be her just walking behind you. Creatures that need to be deathed. Oh yeah, that's right. You gotta find those guys and take their fingers. Yeah, well, those. Done uh, that in a while. <laughs> hadn't done that in a while. If this is what collecting bounties is like, I'm gonna have a fun time here. <laughs> Why on earth is everyone so upset here? I love this place. <laughs> if we were going for complete, if we were going for complete realism of the character we created, he would never leave this town. <laughs> yeah, he'd love it here. He would never want to go anywhere else. Matter of fact, he probably would become be the new boss of this place. Matter of fact, he probably would become like the Marauder boss. Because he's the smartest one. <laughs> Three. Okay, let's put some more points into leadership. Okay. Time violation location <clears throat> hits. Hitting enemies in different locations during TTD maims or cripples those body parts. Try different locations to see the different effects. Hit the chest to produce different effects when using different weapons. When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. Toss bus stick. Back be used as a two handed weapon. Yes. Jock weapons are built for the discerning warrior who wants a custom and personalized weapon, just like everyone else. Time for repair. My is that shot a hammer. My shotgun is repaired. Yay. Also, where? Oh yeah, that's uh, that's what she has. That's her weapon, the impact hammer. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's let her have that. I have the toss ball blocker. A sturdy club-like object used by toss ball goalies to block the ball, and occasionally inflict blunt force trauma. Uh. Eh. Let's break down this shovel. I'm never gonna use a shovel. And at least one of these uh, mining helmets. The rest we shall sell. Ooh! I can make my shotgun a plasma shotgun. Mm. Yeah, I'll do it that. still uses light ammo though, right? It doesn't use like 
energy ammo now. Yeah, it does. It still uses light ammo. Okay, good. But it does plasma damage. Good. Any other mods we can add? The things? Uh, I think that was it. Okay. We'll have to keep an eye out for those then. But hey, now you can use a shotgun. Hey, Ludwig. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Are you okay? You seem confused. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automaton made of iron and lies. Uh, yeah. Gotta watch out for those mechanicals. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Auto mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds. Orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering oh. in the cot or standing? I get it now. With the <laughs> You're afraid of robots. <laughs> Good. Got a question for you. Go on. You should come to my ship. <laughs> we have a robot that flies it. <laughs> He'd probably have an aneurysm. I'm Ludwig Miller. Watch, it's gonna turn left. <laughs> it's gonna turn all the systems on automatically. Without your help. I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and Or consent. <laughs> Silas sent me you owe him gravesite fees. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. He sure did, and he's asking for a little extra to uh, furnish the resistance with uh, mechanical repellent. <laughs> mechanical repellent! A stroke of inspiration from the law itself. This ought to be good. I've been saving up a couple of bits for just such a project. If your resistance needs another gun, I am for hire. I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans mostly, some spacer's chaw, a few bit cards. I'll reward you for your aid. Proper armies pay enlistment fees. Enlistment fees? Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. What do you need done? They have sent a scout. Prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. Okay, so we already fleeced this guy, then we fleeced him again. <laughs> yeah. <off>. Yep. <laughs> this guy is so awful. <laughs> if I'm going after this mechanical scout, I could use a couple pointers. Mechanical's got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is, um, the blue glowy square thing. Genius. <laughs> I'll leave you Truly be. an inspiring name. Also, considering that we, considering that we just uh, use parts to repair it because uh, it's cool, I feel like I should share something that I found. Shotguns do not belong in video games. I cannot think of one game slash one shotgun that was skillful, but most importantly, fun to use. It is a weapon put in games for the sole purpose of catering to cowards. <laughs> Why are you saying this? <laughs> the hell. 
I think we found. Whoever says that is like the worst. I think we found the coward. <laughs> of course, it was a scrub quote. <laughs> oh, it's from Scrubs. No, it was, no, it was a. Uh, there's a. Like a scr like the video game term scrub. Oh, okay. There's an entire uh, Twitter dedicated to uh, f finding tweets and comments made by quote unquote scrubs and posting them for all the world to see. <laughs> Sounds right. Well, time to go back to Silas. We did what he asked. We shut down people for. Hey man, all these people are pieces. super ready to die now. <laughs> this is just like one good whack to the back of the head with your shovel, and they'll be they'll be out. If you'll excuse me, I gotta go shoot some marauders, some robots, and potentially deny a crazy man medication. <laughs> this is gonna be a great weekend. And I have a girl with me. Bonus. <laughs> hey, Miss Parvati. Come. Lovely to see you above, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, Miss. Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get... when I can't leave the house. I'm sorry. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? We need to talk about Eugene. Yeah? What about him? Do you have a pair of pliers? <laughs> <laughs> She mentioned digging him up for his gold teeth. Yeah. Funny thing, Eugene's body ain't where it's supposed to be. The night we were supposed to commend his body to the earth, I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? And so I thought, I'll just rest my eyes a bit. When I woke up, his body was gone. Spirited away. Vanished. The footprints nearby suggest... Spirited away? I love that ancient movie. <laughs> or he rose from the dead. I wish I had seen it. I'll keep an eye out for them, I guess. Let me know if you find anything. Hey, about those fees you wanted. You run into any trouble? I'm all done. Paperwork, fees, and signatures. Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. I went out of my way for you. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. <laughs> I was hoping for something a bit more uh, money. Immediate, uh, tangible, earned it. monetary. <laughs> Abernathy was trying to hide his own illness. Abernathy was sick with the plague. Disgusting! I shook hands with the guy. <laughs> take a take a screen grab of that. <laughs> <laughs> He was convinced you knew. What? No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him report it. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? Yeah? Have you heard any news about the Hope? The colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the Aether never to be found again. <laughs> Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing far as rumors go. Is there a reason you asking? The hope isn't a rumor. It's real. I'm living proof. Alright, easy now. No, I'm from it, yeah. Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. 
Why don't you head over to the cantina? Get yourself some Ackles. Brew. I'm just talking to you, man. Brew that's good for what ails you. I don't understand. They said the colony was expecting us. Look, I don't know what's got you caterwauling about hope this and colony that, but you need to stop, or there's going to be trouble. Where's the trouble in asking a question? Trouble's in the asking. Or don't much care for folk running their mouths, spreading hoaxes and the like. Frankly, neither do I. <laughs> I think you can look past this one. <laughs> Something I can do for you? Goodbye. Oh, you're the guard. I thought you were Parvati for a second. I was like, I didn't put the helmet on you. Mechanical Scout. I used to skip rocks in the river till Constable Reyes ticketed me for unlicensed terraforming. I think she was jealous. She don't want to skip rocks or anything. Um. <laughs> what? This is a thick snake. <laughs> okay. I am so glad my little brother. This. What? <laughs> All you do is look, repeat the word fat over and over. <laughs> Apparently it was an enemy. Cool. I got, what is it, 40 experience for killing it? Yeah. I'm not gonna argue. Why should you? Hey, Pavardi, where are you? She's bet there. Oh. That's the last of them. That's a sprat. A sprat. Do you want to know what sprat huh. stands for? Space rat. Yes. <laughs> we all knew it wasn't going to be anything original or interesting. <laughs> we knew. We knew. I gotta Bye. say, the dialogue choices in this are definitely noticeable. <laughs> What do you mean? Because... When I played through this, making the sarcastic options sort of sparingly, mm -hmm. everyone thought I was an asshole. <laughs> but... Now that you've, like, <laughs> pre-maxed out charm... <laughs> Everyone's just sort of okay with you, even if you're the biggest dickhead. Exactly. <laughs> Eight. Ooh. I can replenish the bypass shunts that I that I used. Cool. Thank you. Bits and ammo. I like it. <laughs> Hit the jackpot over on this house. Uh. Oh, excuse me. You 
will no longer hear the sounds of clinking silverware and bowls and clinking. Cause I finished eating. Oh, mechanical scout. I have a shotgun shell for you. Ah, oh, he ain't right. Bet I could fix him up smart. You sure about that, Parvati? I don't want to, you know. I don't want to freak. I don't want to freak out our friend. Because it could be a dangerous robot overlord. <gasps> Plasma rifle. Thank you. Alright, cool. Armor parts, weapon parts. I'm invading your home, hope you don't mind. Purple berry fizzy tea. Purple berry flavored tripicale tea brewed using soda water. Extra carbonated so you know it's parasite free. I mean, <laughs> I guess that works, logically. Pick up pre sliced bread. Searching for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. Hang on a sec. Uh, Let's do it. Yeah. And then remove any hope that it <laughs> ever could have had. Yep, I see the problem. His nav mod got dislodged. Must have taken a tumble. Just gotta give it a good push and wait for the click. There we go. Jeremy's good as new. Well, new by Spacer's Choice standards, anyhow. His name's Jeremy, by the way. Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. <laughs> could fleece a robot. Whoa, hey, don't you owe me something for the repairs? <laughs> <laughs> Do it! Uh, I don't reckon Jeremy understands the concept of trade. Damn it! Spacer's Choice reminds all colonists that serving the Spacer's Choice family is the highest possible reward. I have been programmed to deliver this pre-approved message. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm done. Be more careful out there, Jeremy. Warning. Damaging company property will result in... And... Kablooey. Well, actually, hold on. I'm gonna try something. No, Par Parvati, you go... I'm going. You go over there. I don't need you to see this. News. It was my dog. I'll do it. <laughs> New save. <laughs> she really is looking away. Okay, cool. She didn't say anything. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure. Uh... Yep, be right over. Oh god, it got shot. We must avenge it. <laughs> it must have realized it was doomed from the start. It just took its own life. Uh... Tell because of the plasma damage that no one here has. 
access yeah. to. <laughs> well, that was fun to watch. Incoming. Took a very joyous dive. It's a terrible pun. Yeah. Okay, so we can only equip four weapons, right? Yeah, four at a time. We only Five. have three types of ammo available in the game. Yeah. So it would actually be within our best interest to have a single light weapon, a mm -hmm. single melee weapon, and the and the energy rifle that you have. Yeah. And then just leave the open slot available for like uh heavier heavy weapon energy. Or heavy weapon ammo. Uh, the light assault rifle is, takes up the heavy. The shotgun takes up the light, so... Plasma rifle will take up the energy. Yeah. And with that, we're all set. Hooray. Oh, sir, I took care of your robo-friend. Oh, uh, Turns sorry. out, he was a dickass. Because oh, he worked for the corporation. Oh, sorry, I meant the evil robot scout. It is the deaded. More vending machines. Board approved. Board sponsored. Board mandated. By now. <gasps> oh. They do have good things in here, though. Like, bolter pistols. And an axe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, an axe. We could use an axe. <laughs> it's only 40 bits. That's pretty cheap. I may not use it, but I might give it to someone who could use it effectively. <gasps> Damn it! I blew my load too early. The trimmer cleaver. Yes. <laughs> it's not the best cleaver, it's the... wait. It is the best cleaver. Its throbbing blade will pulsate its way into even the most recalcitrant dissident. What? <laughs> it chopped good. Okay, why didn't it just say that then? <laughs> Assault rifles and hunting rifles. I'll come back when I have more money. Sell things. Which I did. I sold all my junk. I'm not probably not gonna need this hibernation suit, so I'll get the fuck rid get the fuck rid of that. Yeah. And the sentry saber can go, cause no. <laughs> yeah. Eh, should we keep the toss bow stick? I don't see any good reason to. Nah. And the mining gear? You can sell that axe. Well, we just bought it. 
Oh, we don't. Oh, duh. Fucking trimmer cleaver. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> and the mining gear that I won't need. Because now that I've perfectly disguised myself as a normal human being, I am completely fine. Okay, I was, I was, I'm still waiting on it, but I'll come back and I know where this machine is now. Bring us honor, soldier. Maybe this guy will pay us again. <laughs> again, for the for the third time. <laughs> you won't have to worry about that scout anymore. It is the dead. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its headcase? Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one, and the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer, a weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical hearts. Cantina, lavatory. Behind yeah, I kind of got my eyes on an toilets. axe right now. That's looking pretty That's good. Where I've kept it hidden all these years. You hid your secret weapon in a in a toilet. Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. I'll let you know if I find it. On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. Hey, 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 Parvati, Parvati, I got a question. Isn't he insane? Coming from an insane person, isn't he crazy? <laughs> coming from a coming from a person who looks like this and may and definitely started one, but maybe started two cults. He's a lunatic, isn't he? <laughs> I love that this guy's like perfectly aware of how crazy he is, but he just doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> When it, when endangered servants are freed, anarchy soon follows. If I had to, if I had to look at myself follows. objectively, I'd say that I'm completely insane. <laughs> yep. When indentured servants are freed, anarchy soon follows. Whatever you do, don't make a political statement. Don't say anything. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> For the love of God, don't do it. <laughs> Not in this stream. Uh. Wow, I hope this gun is good. Ludwig's Bundle. I don't like the fact that it's named that. This guy just made us find all of his dick pics. <laughs> Why do you make us find all of his dick pics? I'm not allowed in here. Not since the vending machine incident. Holcomb, got my eye on you, girl. <laughs> Miss Holcomb vending is machine. in this establishment, <laughs> not since that little incident. What incident? What happened? Ask her if you care. I'm running a business here. I won't touch anything while we're in here, Mr. Moreau. I promise. Uh. <laughs> Go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Get it out, man. You need it out. Just do what you gotta do. <laughs> What's your take on this place? What? You mean Edgewater? That's a peculiar question. This is a test. Am I being tested right now? <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I, fine and dandy. Couldn't be happier. Wouldn't want to spend my life working. I'm not else. from here. Prettiest little town on Terra Two. I'm just. I was just. I just laughed myself silly imagining. Uh, that 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 Bert was 
his version of I have some questions and he was keen enough to like yeah go right ahead <laughs> this guy picked up on it <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're so optimistic <laughs> the blister on my ass is prettier than Edgewater It's very true. Have you seen it? It has its own little continents. Actually, there was. Go right ahead. Anyone I should watch out for? Other than yourself? Definitely the victim. Don't get me wrong. He seems a decent man. Cut from church cloth. Knows his scriptures. But there's something about him that bothers me. Like he's not one of us. Sometimes I suspect he doesn't even want to be here. Oh, I need to meet this guy. We sound like we get along great. So about this plague that's supposed to be going around. Plague? I don't know anything about a plague. We are the very picture of hot-blooded physical vigor. Are you done being delusional or should I wait? <laughs> I take umbrage with your choice of phrase. We ain't sick, we're rugged. Some of us who get sick are liable to exaggerate the conditions of that sickness, but the fact is, if you work hard, you have got no cause to worry. Yeah, Spacious Choice obviously cares about its family. Spacer's Choice is built on love, and like any real love, it is cold and tough when needs must. Medical treatment is commensurate with our value to society. Spacer's Choice will dispense medicine for the indispensable worker. Natural selection at work. And if you don't work hard enough? Then the hand of medical science will not grace you with its touch. And you must recover on the virtue of your own grit. Listen, you mind if we talk about something else? Rambling about company policy gets me feeling all lightheaded. Then you probably shouldn't do it. <laughs> Music to my ears. Then that's what not an option. What do you have? Maxwell. Maxwell the Silver Hammer was built with extra weight for crushing hits to the head and other weak spots, but isn't well balanced for smooth swings. Ugh. Trip Blade. Originally created as a farming tool used to harvest trip kale, this two-handed bl two -handed bladed weapon was quickly found to be adaptable for different situations, specifically in the defense of farmers against hostile creatures. Yeah, you essentially have a Naginata yeah. in your hands. <laughs> Mining helmet grade one. And a telescoping staff. Okay, I'm done in here. While we're here... Yeah, what did happen with that vending machine incident? What was up with that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, huh? In the bar? When I asked if you were a drinker? Why aren't you allowed in Moreau's store anymore? There was a, a kind of a thing with a vending machine when I was 12. Oh, thing with a capital T. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. I've seen that movie. <laughs> you were a kid. That must have been forever ago. Sure, but folks got long memories around here. I've always been good with my hands, right? So. I saw a lock on the machine and thought, oh, this must be how they refill it. But I had to know. So I did my thing. And next thing I know, there's a couple hundred bottles of zero G rolling out the front door and into the road. You picked the lock on a vending machine? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the chuckle. Chuckle. It's not funny. <laughs> Right about then, a bunch of loaders came rolling in the gate, fresh off the Saltuna ships. 
And Mr. Thompson was up on the porch making a speech about how everyone would have to volunteer a third shift to get it all canned. Anyhow, you ever seen an auto loader run over a bottle of Zero G? Go on. Exploded all over Mr. Thompson. One bottle after another as the loaders went by. I was just shy of working age, so Dad had to pay all the damages. Rose still angry at me. I can laugh about it now, but I just about puked up my guts in terror in the moment. That's the one time I ever made Mr. Thompson look a fool. You did good. <laughs> in the bar, you asked if I was a drinker. Sorry. I know it's none of my business. You're right, it isn't. <laughs> Jesus. I'm gonna guess you're not a drinker yourself. Strong drink makes me sick. And it makes me real sad. I start thinking about things I oughtn't, and then... Well, never mind that. You got better things to think on. Sorry. Oh, it's Everybody weird. needs to cut loose now and again. I'm tired of it soon enough. Aww. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. <laughs> Just had to be sure. Okay, you're good. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling. This season's tossball predictions. The quickest way out of town. Parvati wanted to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation... I don't know what you, you want to ask. Answer <laughs> <laughs> Not a mind reader, despite me telling people I am one. I can't imagine... I'm an agent of chaos. To drive her to my yeah. <laughs> What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? <laughs> Fix the geothermal plant, cut off the power to Adelaide's deserters, cut power to the deserters. If you could answer quickly, we're in a hurry. <laughs> Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? <sighs> Honestly, if it's getting out of here, yes. It depends on, how, depends on how well the leader can provide beyond your walls. So what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Right. Just talk everybody into coming together. I'll keep that in mind. If it were as easy as a few soothing words in the right ears, I'm sure it would have been done already. Consider it a challenge. Good thing I maxed out charm. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited <laughs> advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. I I've figured. Been I've been outside. I'm not impressed. And I can handle myself better than a vicar. <laughs> what you gonna do, man? Well, you've, you've been I called out. I've entered outside the walls might agree with you. 
bastard snuck up on me while I was dutifully hunting for a banned book in a collector's library. Barely escaped with my life. But you see, one of the reasons I transferred here was to get my hands on that heretical text. If you managed to acquire it for me, I'd pay quite a handsome sum for the book. A handsome sum, you say? Tell me more. <laughs> Why would a vicar be after a banned heretical book? I assume you'll want to burn it once you get your hands on it. I picked that one, and it turns out, no, no he actually I wants to read to it and figure it. out I why it's never... banned. I mean, I just want to... Uh, look, I have a very simple goal here. I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. Obviously. Seems to me the authorities would be interested to hear you after this contraband text. Maybe I'll get your book and sell it to somebody else. You don't fucking know. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time, it's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value, should they ever read it. I'll look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. The... Chemicals better than nature. <laughs> uh. Sounds like you got hiccups. That yeah, was just one. I drank too fast and it was like, no! You idiot! That happens to me a lot. You didn't let the liquid sit in your mouth for a full second. How was I supposed to know you were drinking? Hey man, we found your uh, Bring us on shitty in, dick pics. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god, I have a video to send you. Oh no. Uh. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the Hand of the Law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand volts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. How do I use this injury customizing unit exactly? There's a workbench right through this door. Attach that unit to your favorite weapon and go forth into glorious battle. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. What if I put it on my second favorite? The old geothermal <laughs> plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. What's your dick is Don't worry about that. I've already got the passcode. I feel like I'm gonna regret getting mixed up in this. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. There you go.
There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't. Oh, I've seen this. <laughs> oh, this is really funny. <laughs> Apparently, there's a part two to that video. I don't reckon so. I work with gears and pistons and such. Stuff you can put hands to. Computers and mechanical brains are outside my ken. You know, she names the mechanical she fixes. Calls them Bess and Clancy and so on. You keep a careful eye on her. Could be a sympathizer. Don't tell anyone, all right? I've got a contact. A real expert in the inner workings of the automaton. We are gonna rip those mechanical secrets right out of their circuits. Apparently there's three. Oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> That'll Edgewater. be something to look up. Edgewater's in the middle of nowhere. You don't have to, you don't have a contact. Well, excuse me. What uh, I meant was I'm going to get a contact. I didn't know I had to be all prissy about my grammar around you. I saw uh, the video I saw was all three of them in like a row on Facebook. So it might have been that one. <laughs> Essentially at one point he starts talking about uh like caulk but he says yeah. it with his but he says it with his accent. <laughs> Well, where'd the sun go? Die horribly. I will pour out a can of zero behind to your memory. <laughs> oh, holy God. <laughs> Good night. That's how many inactive quests I have. Oh, it's the... Uh, You've the been fist. picking them up. Fistful of digits. Okay. Well, we'll go there first then. Can I have some fun? Time to kill things. Some energy weapons can charge up for a bigger attack. Hold the attack button to build up energy, then release to attack. Not yet. I don't want to be completely broke when I go to buy that axe. Hello? Yeah? No, I was talking about the enemies. Oh, the primal brutes. Might want to move, Parvati. <laughs> I scared a primal. Awesome. Level four, we get perks. Sweet. I somehow managed to salvage a brain out of that. to stick the last three. Uh... I 
guess since we're going to try and find a brain, we should put it into tech. Okay. Never mind, we actually have pretty decent science. And our uh, adjusted adjusted skills values. Apparently our armor is helping us with that. Sweet. And Parvati is 10 engineering in, uh, just for being here, so... I uh, guess put it into guns. Arranged, yeah. All three of them? Uh. Yes. Alright. Level 30. Anti-Cleo knows friends make everything better. You can command your companions to use their special abilities. Okay. What to get now? Companion crit chance. Base health. More time dilation. We haven't really had any issues with running out of or running glow on health yet. Not yet. Um Running or walking faster. I would say, uh, what was it? Uh, oh, yeah, there it is a weapon and armor durability loss. That's helpful. Yeah, okay. That make a distance. Just a fistful of digits can get you some money. I'm gonna shoot you so good. Oh, I have no heavy ammo left. Shit. Oops. <laughs> Should probably uh, invest in that when I get back. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I was just able to sneak up on this. Up to I was just able to sneak up on this fucker. Oh, this is great. Boom, bitch. We go. And that's what happens.
Oh, 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 yep. <laughs> God. <laughs> Fun stuff. It is dead. Time for energy. That's the last of them. Hunting rifle, I take. Sweet. An assault rifle. Blew the top of his face right the fuck off. That was great. Mm hmm. <laughs> the game's just pointing me to a pile of ashes. Now take a finger from that. <laughs> Somehow. The only thing left was its middle finger, and now you're gonna take it. Uh. Yep. I found out why that's like an obscene gesture. Why? Uh, because... Now this is what I heard, I don't know if it's like real or not, but... I like to think it's real. Okay. Back in like, uh, back in like medieval times, uh... Whenever, whenever uh, an opposing side would catch a an archer, they and they would interrogate them for information. Interrogate them for information before releasing them back into uh, into uh, enemy hands. They would cut their middle fingers off because that's what they would use to draw the bowstring. Hmm. So. That became like common knowledge, so whenever archers would escape, they would, they would respond by giving them the middle finger <laughs> thing. I still got it. Showing that they still had it. <laughs> yeah, and that's why the middle finger is an obscene gesture nowadays. I like that. It's a fun little story. Oh. oh, I think I might need. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Holy shit, you're big. Yeah, they're huge. Ah! Don't sell yourself short, Par Parvati. You just destroyed. You just brained a fucking space gorilla. You feel proud of yourself. Made of rocks and dipped in tar or something. With apparently the ability to call forth, like, the power of the universe. Oh, I'm at the geothermal plant already? Damn. I don't want yeah, to go... it's not far off. I don't want to go there yet. Uh... Long tomorrow. Well, at least I have... At least I have the location now. I always wanted to poke around in here. We're not going to, but that's still nice to know, I guess.
Time to Skyrim. I guess I'm gonna be. Time to Skyrim my way with this. you. Ouch! You getting uh? Getting the sleepy? Oh yeah. All right. I will send you the PMF. And then I am going to close my eyes and go bye bye. <laughs> Into the darkness. Yeah. That does not stare back. Uh I think my personal favorite version of the the stare into the abyss thing is the cat one. Where it says uh, the, ab the abyss sometimes when you stare into the abyss the abyss stares back, and the abyss is loud and wants chicken. <laughs> that sounds right. Hello, you ugly so, yeah. fuckheads. Good night, all you lovely people. One, by the end of this, I'll have told you what I really think of you. <laughs> so... But only vicariously. That's the last of them. All right. I'll pro Since you're doing that, I'll probably just do this real quick. Uh, well, you can l you can still leave if you want to. I'm not saying you guys stick around, but I'll do this mission. Uh, look around a bit more, and then I'll probably end it. Yeah, sounds good. Goodbye. See you later. Heading shot. Excuse me. Hat wide brimmed. Okay. <laughs> Not exactly what I was expecting to find in the super future. Drino earrings. Open it just to see. Nice. Oh, it was worth it. That was worth it. That was a lot of ammo, and it was very worth it. Oop. Adreno. Thank you. Whoa. Mock apple cider. Genuine fermented 100% mock apple cores. <laughs> Apples, a hard cider for a hard life. I'll keep it just for posterity. It takes my charm down and I can't risk that. Not, not with this character. <laughs> energy cells do I have? 64? Okay. I will save them. Right. Let's go get this mission done right quick.
better than nature. Ha ha. <laughs> Hello. Incoming. Damn, Pyrotic. Good hit. Thank you for the light ammo. I very much appreciate it. Oh sweet, I need to take a massive whiz. And of course by massive whiz I mean steal everything that isn't nailed down. Because you know, RPG. <laughs> Another shotgun. Control armor, I'll get that for her. I don't need it because I already have that, but. Nine. Four. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Place that helmet, though. Ooh, that looks good on you, Pavardi. Oh, Parvati, sorry. I, p <laughs> I switched, I put the R in the wrong, sp in the wrong place. My bad. Oopsies. 180, 215. I think I will. <laughs> Okay, I was done. Good. Uh. Easy. Okay, glad I did that. Hooray, I discovered yet another vending machine. Because we so needed to have another one of those. Okay, don't go in there. Ah, oh, damn. It's really getting to me tonight. Gotta go to the bathroom again. Alright, be right back. One quick second.
though does it going through me tonight? Slap to the face. Oh, thanks for the trip blade. Antique Saber? Excuse me? Yes, I'll take that. How did that Saber make it all the way out here? And how did it last that long? God, they, they better have been keeping the maintenance on that thing, because... If it hasn't been touched for like the last few hundred years, then it ain't gonna be worth shit. Bard. Because <laughs> I didn't open it like an idiot. Dervish Mist. World to you hurl. I hate that. Stun baton. Oh goody, junk to sell. Got the cash of uh, Madison. Probably not worth it. Defeat our foes. And by that, we mean yourself. to be that person and go back on my word but we're already here it's just a hop skip and away so I'm gonna do one more mission before I go just to get it out of the way
that and I've just been looking for a reason to keep playing this game. I've been playing it on my own, but I find the game loop so so fucking addicting. Everything is dead. How much heavy ammo do I have? Yeah. I can do this. Uh... See, Parvati's starting to get into it. Thank you for replenishing my heavy ammo. Ooh, a light machine gun. Hello. I will keep that for later. Ooh, some mock apple juice. We take only the best apples, the mockest apples, and gently squeeze them in a 19-ton hydraulic press to deliver the complete flavor of the mock apple. Lovely. the ouch I wonder what that does always always check the bathroom after finding that one guy's uh, bundle in the back So I think that means he's not here. Ooh, a hatchet. <laughs> oh god, I gotta see this. There we go. <laughs> now our character's portrait is perfect. Oh god. Oh, the closer the camera gets, the worse it seems. Oh. We've created the hatchet the hatch slinging slasher. <laughs> the future version, however. Oh damn, that's pretty fast too. I know it barely does it barely does any damage, but the joke, god damn it. We must keep it up for the bit. Everything for the bit. Actually, no. Not wasting three picks on a tiny ass bin outside, no matter how good it is. When the collector had to abandon his home, he hid the banned book in a small cave along with some other contraband, travel to the cave and retrieve it. Okay, well that leads perfectly to the geothermal plant. So, 
right there. We'll st we'll start off the next episode of this by destroying another marauder and getting me myself another finger. Oh, my ankles. Well, with that, I think this is a pretty good place to stop. Ugh. <laughs> I saw it in her mouth for a minute. Oh, God. All right. And with that, the first episode of <laughs> Calvin Natalie's Oh, excuse me, not a killer's. The first entry in his adventures comes to a close. Uh yeah. So uh, and if anyone who is I probably should have said this way earlier, but if anyone who is expecting uh Halo tonight, uh didn't know what I was gonna do because uh, my parents still had company over it and my, my parents are already weirded out by the shit that I say while doing this so I didn't want to add a extra, two extra sets of ears to hear that stuff so I had to wait until they left and then uh, get, didn't get to Halo cause didn't know what was going on with that and I think Alex went to sleep early because we do gotta we do gotta go back to work tomorrow but I don't know if he took a nap and accidentally stayed asleep this long or if he just didn't feel like it tonight I don't know but yeah that's what happened and that's what gave, gave us got us on the train of this game that and someone voted in our, someone voted in the discord and that was the only vote so that was the vote that I went with But yeah, uh, next time, next stream, uh, hopefully we'll be off. Hopefully we won't be called in again and it, it will be next Friday, which we will then uh, beat Halo 2. And then, depending on how long that takes, it'll either be more of this. Okay, now that I think about it, yeah, next time it'll be... It'll be the end of Halo 2 and more of this because e even though I've been constantly telling myself you need to you need to finish Ghost of Tsushima, you need to finish it. You're like really close to the end on that thing. You need to get to it. <laughs> other I keep putting other shit in the way and I don't feel like switching to the PlayStation midway through uh while playing on an X on the Xbox. So yeah, that'll be Friday and Saturday. Saturday, I'm I am stamping my foot. Saturday will be a Ghost of Tsushima stream to get further into that story. I'm start. I will start out with it just so I don't have to switch midway through. All right, and Dingus with the parting middle finger. Thank you. Good night, you massive urethra blocking kidney stones. <laughs> oh, if he were here, Alex would have gotten a kick out of that one. All right. Good night, everybody. Oh, remember you all in therapy. Ah!